Hi, I'm back again. This time with the P-52 and an X-15. I'm not really satisfied with the P-52. It's really underpowered these, these days. It's hard to get it climbed at this altitude. It's still climbing to this maximum altitude again. With the X-15. There's a counterweight here. Uh, but the X-15 looks like a real one. It's really capable. Uh, it's really flyable. Except in one I have this uh, pointer here that is for uh, the looks of the nozzle the X-15 had. Unfortunately, that uh, cost me like 300 meters per second delta V. So it's an actually the best solution. I didn't find anything better. To make it look like a real one. Of course, I have the detachable lower tail uh, fin. Still climbing. Six thousand. Well, I hope to make like six thousand seven hundred or so. Seven thousand is maybe possible sometimes. To be very good for it. I want to land in the desert. Somewhere here, hopefully not on these hills. It's very hard to do the hills. And yeah, no, the B-52 also is not big enough, so it should be like 50 something meters. Uh, Expand, but it's just 38 or so. So it's not uh, really big enough. Uh, that's why there is a good panel with the X-15. Maybe if it uh, were bigger, uh, I could have bigger engines made or something, but it's true to work out this way. Okay. Just don't touch the control because it's at the 2 3. 6,800, 6,000, mm, almost. Help as the max detach. Ah, the problem of this uh, is how it consumes the fuel. It does. You can see that it consumes uh, from here. Now, I have to balance this uh, in flight, otherwise, it becomes unstable. That is the counterweight. Uh, but this is entirely because uh, how the rocket engines consume fuel in the game. Uh, I don't want to keep the noise. Down, but now it's uh, stable, it's too stable to keep it uh, up. But it's for a while only until it consumes this and it uh, gets back its mobility. I also have to climb so that I don't uh, get too much drag. But if I have too high attitude, I will fall into the sea because uh, then I get too much altitude in that uh, distance. So it's a balance. It's a bit so now let's make it so. It changes now. Unfortunately, I'm, go I'm going against rotation now, uh, but it also helps in a way because the continent moves under me. 
but they don't get the extra speed. Yeah, that's good. It's not obvious not wanting to make it. That's it. Pain is managed to because yeah, it's too it's too far. It's quite nice. Hmm. Then it should into space. Yeah, uh, it's spacing. Now I have to be careful with my entry. The real X15. Did the uh, nose down attitude, uh, but I have to do a nose up, not this much, to keep my speed uh, so to glide further, but also don't fry the plane. So I think uh, something like this is going to be sufficient. I have this counterweight here. And th this is all. This is because of the the extra engine here with uh, the jet, what I don't use. Uh, without the jet, I don't really need this uh, counterweight fuel. So if I'm lucky, I can land here somewhere. Hopefully. No lift jet soon is it getting hot in here I want to keep the speed so just a little bit of nose up. There is lift. Hopefully I don't land in this uh, rugged terrain. Yeah, there is my lift. This is getting cut. is now the glide phase. It is a really bad glider. You have it like 25 degrees uh, nose down, still losing speed. So it's not working very well. I want to jump over this uh, terrain, hopefully. Yeah, so there is some lift. It's not really enough. Small lake. Yeah, that's the lake. Has this rugged terrain. So let's try to conserve some speed. I couldn't make uh, the skids uh, that it has uh, for the aft landing gear, so I use uh, normal landing gear. So those. Oh, 
Oh, this is uh, more like the actual. What? What? What is it? <laughs> ah. Anyway, so this is more like the actual nose down attitude of the real X15. I'm still high up. Coming in. Soon. Hundred. Come on, come on, come on. And there is a. Uh, yeah, and this is going to survive. Small parachute. That's not exactly the shape of the real one, because it wasn't the L shape, but uh, I couldn't do it uh, in a different way. Actually, I can throw it 15 meters per second, so it should be okay. Yeah. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.